We have spent the last month or so talking about how much effort the Salvation Army throws into making Christmas special for families in need. Thank you for your help with that. But the organization's mission doesn't end when the kettles get put away. Each regional Salvation Army chapter or core tends to focus on specific needs in their area. And in Hot Springs, there's a focus that helps a large number of military veterans. We're at the end of what the Salvation Army calls kettle season. That means for Marine Corps veteran Alan Mitchell, his part-time job ringing the iconic bell outside stores is wrapped up. I mean, I wasn't doing nothing but sitting at home anyway, so I think I was getting my wife's nerves. But for officers with the Salvation Army here in Hot Springs, helping a large population of homeless, many of them veterans, remains a full-time job. They'll be wearing veterans' hats, veterans' emblems. Uh, different things like that. Some of them use a certain type of language and you can tell they used to be in the military. Captain Brian Brindley is adept at identifying them, even when it's not as obvious. When they arrive, the Salvation Army has a tried and true plan in place. So soup, soap and salvation is known pretty much everywhere. Anybody that walks up to the window uh, is pretty much our targeted audience. That is our ministry. And so especially when it comes to veterans or people that are homelessness or people have drug addictions or something like that, those are the people that we target in our ministry. Ministry includes food, clothing, detox, and spiritual guidance. Part of the reason Captain Brindley serves so many is because of what he calls a high degree of sustainability. Homeless here can draw on many resources. The Salvation Army here figured out how to tap into a lot of them specifically for veterans. I work for Division of Workforce Services of Arkansas, and I'm a Disabled Veterans Outreach Program Specialist. Walter Szlajewski and Captain Brindley started teaming up about a year ago. The separation of church and state breaks down a little, but it's well worth it. We just click, you know, they have services. I have the clientele that need the services. Often, they create a game plan for a veteran or a veteran's family. The Corps might help in a crisis. The state cuts through the red tape. The Corps starts to help a vet with mental illness. The state sets them up with VA treatment. They take pride in their reach and efficiency. If you are a veteran uh, or a spouse of a veteran and you're in need, um, any kind of need, um, rehab support, mental health, um, shelter, please reach out to us so we can get you the help that you need as fast as possible. But once that help arrives, Captain Brindley says the Corps' work is just getting started. It's starting the case management to be able to actually help somebody change their life. Um, and that needs to be the great investment that we make in Arkansas. We will continue to salute heroes helping veterans, active military and first responders as we head into 2024. If you know a group doing good work, send us a note. You can find a link in all of our Saluting Heroes stories. There's a section for them on our website. Barbara, I want to give you this trophy, the Saluting Heroes Award, with our thanks, along with this $1,000 check to the Salvation Army to help veterans in the Hot Springs area. We appreciate it so much. Thank you for helping us do the most good for veterans in Hot Springs.